Hello everyone, this is Esther again from Extra Stars Academy and today we will be looking at the organs of speech and in our lesson today we will be looking at the meaning of organs of speech. We'll look at some organs that help in the articulation of English sounds. We'll look at some sounds and also we'll look at some word examples that goes with the sounds. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you have a question or something to say, please you can say it in the comment section. Next, we have the heart palate. Now, this is the first half of the roof of the mouth immediately after the alveolar ridge. It is the bony part of the roof of the mouth. The sound produced with the front of the tongue Making contact with the heart palate is called palatal sound. So when the front of your tongue makes contact with the heart palate, the sound you get is called palatal sound. And in English, we have just one palatal sound. It is the sound for letter Y, 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 yes, yes. When the blade or tip of the tongue approaches or touches the alveolar ridge, and the main body of the tongue near the heart palate, the sounds produced are called palato-alveolar sounds. Palato-alveolar sounds, as in shh, the sound for SH, shh, ship, shh, ship, and ch, cheap. Then we also have it in Pleasure, zh, pleasure, and j, j, and jag, jag, good. Then we have the soft palate. The soft palate is also known as the vellum. It is the interior part of the roof of the mouth immediately after the hard palate. It is a soft tissue at the back of the roof of the mouth. So the soft palate is also known as the vellum. It is a soft tissue at the back of the roof of the mouth. Sounds produced with the tongue making contact with the soft palate are called vela sounds. And we have such sounds as k in kates and g gates. So you feel the strain inside the mouth at the back of the tongue because the vellum is raised. When producing oral sounds, the vellum is raised like k and g. But when you're producing nasal sounds, the vellum is lowered such that air passes through the nasal cavity like mmm, mmm, and sing, sing. You can feel the vellum lowered it's lowered it's not raised like you can feel the strain it is lowered sing think thank okay you can feel the mm sound there mm, good next we have the uvula the uvula is the small fleshy structure that hangs down at the back of the throat it is the dangling small piece of flesh that hangs from the top of the inside of the mouth. When you're producing oral sounds, it helps in closing the air passage by pressing tightly against the pharynx, thereby obstructing air from entering the nasal cavity. Now, when you're producing nasal sounds, it opens, thereby causing air to pass through the nasal cavity. So when you're producing oral sounds, it closes. And when you're producing nasal sounds, the uvula opens. It is also involved in producing certain sounds in English, like the sound of letter R. Err. Err. As in rats. Rats. Good. Next, we have the pharynx. This is the soft area at the top of the throat where the passage to the nose and the passage to the mouth connects. It is located in between the uvula and the larynx. 
Next, we have the epiglottis. This is a thin piece of flesh at the back of the tongue that prevents food from entering the lungs. So the job of the epiglottis is to prevent food from entering the lungs. When you're eating, it knows its job. And when you're talking, it knows its job. We have the esophagus. The esophagus is also called the gullet. It is the tube through which food enters from the mouth to the stomach. The esophagus. Next, we have the larynx. The larynx is the area in the throat that contains the vocal cords. It's also called the voiced box. It is an organ involved in breath control, protection of the trachea, and sound production. And it also houses the vocal cords. It is involved in swallowing, breathing, and voice production. Then we have the vocal cords. The vocal cords, also called vocal folds, are two bands of smooth muscle tissue found in the larynx. That's the voice box. So the vocal cords are located in the larynx or voice box, and they're responsible for producing sounds by vibrating as air passes through them. So they vibrate and air passes through the cords from the lungs to produce the sound of your voice. The vocal cords are involved in producing all the vowel and consonant sounds in English. So the sounds are produced when the air which passes through the vocal cords causes them to vibrate and create sound waves in the pharynx, the nose, and the mouth. The pitch of sound is determined by the amount of tension on the vocal folds. That's the vocal cords. Next, we have the glottis. The glottis is the part that contains the vocal cords. It is the opening between the vocal cords at the upper part of the larynx. It is a vocal apparatus of the larynx. So the vocal cords, the larynx, the glottis, they are all closely related, functioning together. Now, when the vocal cords are brought together, air forces its way through, causing a vibration, thereby producing voiced sounds. So voiced sounds are produced when the vocal cords are brought together and air forces its way through, causing a vibration. And we have it in sounds like b, g, v. You can feel the vibration. Now, when the vocal cords are apart and the glottis is open, air passes freely, producing voiceless sounds. There is no vibration, as in p, k, s. The vocal cords are apart and the glottis is open. The sound produced in the glottis is called glottal sound. And we have one sound in English, which is a glottal sound, the sound for letter H. Sound production that involves moving the vocal cords close together is called glottal. So English adds just one glottal sound. is a voiceless sound, no vibration. The sound... This sound is produced by just keeping the vocal folds spread somewhat, resulting in non-turbulent airflow to the glottis. Good. Next, we have the trachea. The trachea. Now, this is the tube through which air passes from the mouth to the lungs. The larynx, the trachea, they are very important in speech production. Because if you can manage how air passes from the larynx and trachea down to the lungs, you will gain mastery in speech production. And lastly, we have the lungs. I said lastly, but it's not the least. It is the lungs. The lungs are the two organs in the chest that are used when breathing. Breathing goes in line with speaking. So the speech sounds are produced with the air coming from the lungs, through the trachea, the larynx, and all other organs coming out through either the oral cavity or the nasal cavity. Each organ is important because without one, speech would be impossible. Yeah, so we have it. The organs of speech involved in the production of speech sounds in English. Now we've gone through all the organs of speech and 
You know the organs involved in production of speech sounds. The lips alone does not produce speech sounds. We have different organs together with the lips that produce speech sounds. When you're speaking, take note of the organs of speech you use, the organs of speech involved in the production of your speech sounds. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do subscribe to the channel Extra Stars Academy and press the bell icon so you'll be notified of more of our uploads. So we'll meet again now on next class. Do take care. Stay safe. Bye bye. Yeah, so we have it. The organs of speech involved in the production of speech sounds in English. Now we've gone through all the organs of speech and you know the organs involved in the production of speech sounds. The lips alone does not produce speech sounds. We have different organs together with the lips that produce speech sounds. When you're speaking, take note of the organs of speech you use, the organs of speech involved in the production of your speech sounds. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do subscribe to the channel Extra Stars Academy and press the bell icon so you'll be notified of more of our uploads. So we'll meet again now on next class. Do take care. Stay safe. Bye bye.